everybody, today we are talking about why I'm going broke in 2022. So why am I going to go broke in 2022? Um, well, it's obviously being a little bit dramatic. I'm not actually going to go broke, hopefully. We hope not. But I am going to spend a lot of money, and there are a couple reasons for that, but there's one main reason that we'll get to. Uh, but the first reason is that I'm going to buy a car this summer. I'm 16, fairly early this year. I'm going to turn 17, and it's getting to a point where... I want my own vehicle, so I am going to work this summer and I'm hopefully going to purchase a car, which is going to be the biggest purchase of my life for sure. The biggest thing I've bought so far is this last camera I bought, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. I was going to sit down and I was going to talk about a camera today and then an idea popped into my head and I said, no, not today. We're doing what I'm actually feeling inspired about today and that is travel. Traveling is one of my all time favorite things to do. There's like a list of like three things that are like favorite things ever. And one of the things on that list is traveling. Over the over the last like year, two years maybe, traveling has become one of my favorite things to do. It's always been something that I loved, but it's become a new level of passion about it just within this last like year, two years area. When I've done some traveling, like what feels like kind of like adult traveling, I'm not an adult, but where I can actually travel without my parents, go see the world and go do awesome things. But why do I really love travel? I was raised to love travel. <laughs> Gotta sort these. Okay, new. 15, 17, 12, this has to be the oldest. 14, 15, 13, 16, 13, 13. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay. These are family photo albums all the way back to 10 years ago, 2012. Good gracious. 2012 was a long time ago, but I have taken a trip. I better fact check this. I have taken a trip. In, I have taken at least a trip out of the state in every one of these. Check this out, first of all. Look, we got a we got van loaded out, baby. Check that out. There's a bed in there. Yeah. It's pretty dope. I don't even know where we're going. But we're crossing Wyoming. And we stopped to check it out. Jensen climbed a sign. Look, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Some of the best times of my young life right here. See where we went. Oh yeah, Branson. Because we live in the Midwest, so we go to Branson. Oh, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arkansas. Uh, cliff jumping, boating. Anyway, all that to said, I've been raised... Anyway... I've been raised to love traveling, but you don't have to be raised traveling to learn to love traveling. The experiences you'll have, the people you'll meet, and the memories that you'll make are worth so much more than the money that's sitting in your bank account right now. Now granted, I'm 16 years old, so really what do I know about making real world, real world decisions? You have a solid point. I'm not saying that I have all-knowing wisdom or anything, but that doesn't mean that what I'm saying here doesn't make a solid point. So I took a trip to LA a couple years ago and vlogged it. You guys saw the videos on the channel. In fact, that was early 2020. We uh, missed, we beat COVID by like two weeks to that trip before it, stuff shut down. Um, so it was kind of a miracle that we that we hit that like two weeks before we couldn't have flown there. But that trip did not cost me very much money. That cost about $400 for that whole trip. Which, yeah, $400 can get you a lot, but but it couldn't give me anything more valuable than the memories that I made on that trip. There are ways to travel for not very much money. So even if you don't have a lot of money to travel, you can still travel. In five years from now, I'm not gonna miss those $400. In fact, I don't miss those $400 right now. I don't know if I've ever spent a better $400 than that trip. That trip was like truly the time of my life. Now, would I like $400 more right now? Sure, of course I would. But I absolutely would not trade it for the memories that I made on that trip, along with the memories that I made on every road trip I've gone on. In fact, I don't think I've ever regretted money spent on a trip. I mean, of course, you know, I might have bought something on a trip. It's like, you know, I didn't need these gummy worms. That's not really the point I'm making. I've never regretted taking a trip out of state. I'm not saying that you won't ever regret it, but you know, sometimes it's a hit or miss, and that is a risk definitely worth taking if you're talking three, four hundred dollars to just go have some experiences. Obviously this point can be taken too far. I'm not saying go spend your entire bank account on traveling and blow all your money and then go broke and not eat for a month. I don't know. 
That's what I'm planning on doing. <laughs> Being dramatic, of course. But I, I, but I think you get what I'm saying. Traveling is absolutely worth the money. And if you have the chance to go meet some new faces, go see some new things, change your perspective from your little world and your little capsulated culture that you sit in, you know, the drive to work every day, the same three friends you hang out with every night, just break it up. Like, go do something that you would not normally do that makes you uncomfortable. Get out. But if you're on the fence about taking a trip right now, even if you're not on the fence about taking a trip, if you haven't even taken this into consideration, start planning something. Start making something happen. I don't care if it's a month out, a week out, hang two years out. Start planning a trip that you're going on to on. Start preparing. If you don't have the money right now, that's okay. Start saving. Start putting away a little bit of money for this trip. There is no better way that you can spend money for yourself than to travel. And on that note, I'm going to head out. Thank you all for watching. I hope this inspired you, lit a little spark, a little, a little flint, some, got some going, some turning, a wheel, a wheel spinning in your mind to go take a trip. I think, I mean, I want to go sing and take a trip. I've, I'm going to South Carolina this weekend to film a wedding. That should be good. Other than that, I don't have any trips planned. That's an issue. I got to get another uh, trip planned. It's partially why I love videography so much is because it takes me places and I get paid for it. It's like, the two best things ever. It's like traveling and making money. <laughs> all right, I will see you all next Friday. Deuces. Mm. Shameless plug. But like there's a little bit of shame, obviously, because I put it at the end of the video instead of like somewhere in the mix. So it's like partial shame plug. If you haven't listened to the podcast, Avocado Toast, go check it out. We're having a lot of fun over there. Me and my boy Landon, we're having a lot of fun. If you haven't checked it out, go give it a listen. Apple, Spotify, Instagram. Um, our Instagram is the Avocado Toast Podcast. It's got this little logo on it. Um, Landon got me this gift for Christmas. What a sweet dude. Um says toast down this sleeve, avocado down this sleeve. It's a pretty fire t-shirt if you ask me. Anyways, so there was my partially ashamed plug. I'll catch you all next week. Peace. Horns. Not horns. Not from the devil. No, no, no. There. Just love it. <laughs>